In this video we understand Chapter 1 Introduction Tracing changes through a thousand years Here we cover 1. New and old terminologies 2. Historians and their sources 3. New social and political groups 4. Region and empire 5. Old and new religions and at last 6. Thinking about time and historical periods Let's start. Two maps are being compared. Map 1, 1154 CE, by Al Idrisi and Map 2, 1720s, by a French cartographer, focusing on the Indian subcontinent. The maps differ significantly due to changes in information over 600 years. Different historical contexts and cartography methods shaped these maps. New and old terminologies, Languages and meanings change over time. The term, Hindustan, meant different things in history, from a political region in the 13th century to a broader geographical and cultural entity in the 16th century. Historical terms like, foreigner, had different meanings, not necessarily related to nationality. Historians and their sources, historians use various sources depending on the period they study. From 700 to 1750, sources included coins, inscriptions, architecture, and textual records. Manuscripts and documents became more common but varied due to manual copying. Introducing small changes over time. New social and political groups, between 700 and 1750, significant changes occurred in society. Rajputs, Marathas, Six Jats and Kayasthas became influential. Forest dwellers migrated to agriculture, leading to diverse social and economic backgrounds. Jatis or sub-castes emerged, ranked by power and influence. Region and empire, large empire like Cholas, Tughlaqs, and Mughals claimed control over various regions. Different languages and regions were recognized and rulers often exaggerated their conquests. Regionally distinct languages and cultures existed, despite imperial influence. Old and new religions. Major religious changes occurred during this period. Hinduism saw the worship of new deities, temple construction, and Brahmana's prominence. Bhakti emerged as a personal devotion. Islam arrived with traders and migrants, leading to diverse interpretations, sects, and traditions. Thinking about time and historical periods. Historians divide history into periods based on shared characteristics. Earlier divisions were based on religion but are now based on social, economic, and cultural factors. The medieval period, from the 8th to the 18th century, saw significant changes in prosperity, challenging the notion of a static, medieval, era. It's essential to compare historical information and look for both changes and continuities. So, in this chapter we understood new and old terminologies, historians and their sources. New social and political groups, region and empire, old and new religions and at last thinking about time and historical periods. For more such videos please like, share and subscribe to PMK Classes. Thank you.